On today's menu, a delicious and easy to make recipe you'll really freshen up to. Delicious seaweed salad. Lei Hong Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This salad is one of my absolute favorites. Not only is it easy to put together, it's absolutely delicious. This is wakame seaweed. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. This looks really deceiving, but about 15 grams is good enough for about two portions. Once you rehydrate this, it really, really expands. Bring a pot of water to boil for the seaweed. Peel and thinly slice some daikon radish. You only need a small piece for each portion, but you can always prep more and make more. Small piece of carrot, thinly sliced. Right, so using cherry tomatoes would be a little bit more traditional for this recipe, but I absolutely love heirloom tomatoes and I've been saving this for a special occasion like when we cook together. Half a tomato, diced. Turn off the heat and let the wakame seaweed soak for about 5 to 8 minutes. One and a half tablespoons cane sugar. One tablespoon rice vinegar. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. Blash of toasted sesame oil. 1 tablespoon white sesame seeds. Shake well to combine. Pour out the soaking liquid and use as a light stock in other recipes. Rinse and drain the seaweed in cold water. Look at that. That was 15 grams. Crazy. Roughly chop the seaweed and place in a large mixing bowl. Half cup edamame, half cup corn, tomato. This is some amazing, amazing baby arugula. If you can't find this, of course you can sub this out with any sort of greens or sprouts. About one packed cup of baby arugula. Pour in half the dressing. Mix. Plate. Daikon. Carrot.
sprinkle over some more sesame seeds. Finish with a drizzle more dressing. You can now make this incredible seaweed salad with absolute confidence. So simple to put together, and that is not only beautiful to look at, let me tell you, that is packed with flavor. That is just delicious. Simply phenomenal. It's really nice and crunchy. That wakame seaweed is just nice and got that really nice chewy texture. It's really salty, it's spicy, sweet, it's tangy from that rice vinegar. And you get that sort of natural sweetness from the tomatoes and the corn. That was really, really delicious. Everything just kind of makes friends in there and the flavor is phenomenal. You get the really nice crunchiness from the carrots and the daikon and a little bit of that sort of pepperiness from the arugula. Really, really amazing. My gosh, so delicious. By the way, if you love these type of recipes, then you'll definitely want to check out or get your copy of the Vegan Ramen Cookbook that was published not too long ago. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can find out more information about this book Plus, in that same link, you can watch the first entire class of that new plant-based sushi making masterclass. And that masterclass is a series of five classes designed and curated to help you make stunning and delicious sushi right at home. That is a masterclass you'll really eat up. Of course, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.